What was the biggest lesson from... Uh, Hey guys, welcome to Live Your Impressivity TV show. If you are new to the channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications bell so you get notified every time when I post new content on Tuesdays. Today I want to share with you the ritual that I use with journaling at the end of a month and beginning of a new month because it's something that has been proven to be really powerful and I have been using it for about a couple of years now and it's really making a big difference in the way that I reflect back and the way that I plan my new month. And if you want to know more, then keep watching! It's so easy to get trapped in the cycle of running after the next big thing all the time and forgetting to just take a moment and look back and reflect at what has been happening. So we have the tendency to just run from one goal to the other, but if we just take a moment and look and reflect a little bit, then we can learn what has been working, what hasn't been working, what can we improve and what can we not repeat if it's a mistake. So the way that I start my journaling ritual when it comes to starting a new month is I ask myself this question. What was my biggest win during the past month? I like to focus on the victories and to celebrate because sometimes, you know, it's so easy to forget to celebrate when it actually happens. So taking the time at the end of the month to do so, it will remind you of some small or big goals that you have achieved, something that you have taken off your checklist, little wins, big wins, it doesn't really matter. It's important that you are noticing the progress. It's absolutely crucial to track your progress because this way you will see where you have been and where you are going. I know it can be really uncomfortable to sit back and take the time to reflect and you can say, well, I don't really need to do that or what is the purpose of this? I'm really focused and I don't have time for this. The truth is that growth happens in the reflective moments because this is when you can understand what was that you learned. Maybe something didn't work out the way that you thought it would. Maybe you had to change something along the way. How was that for you? How did you react? How did you respond? Was there something that was unpredicted that happened? So the second question that I ask for my journaling ritual is, what was the biggest lesson from last month? When it comes to the things that didn't work out, I prefer to call them lessons because once we make a mistake, it's important to not repeat it. This is why we're looking back, we're reflecting and we are learning the lesson so that we can add it to our already learned lessons and don't repeat it in the future. So once you journal about your wins and your lessons, it's time to move on to the next step. You already know I'm a really big fan of gratitude and I think it's a really, really powerful tool for anything in life. So of course I include gratitude in my journaling ritual. So the third question is, what are you grateful for in the past 30 days? If you have been keeping a gratitude journal for an everyday routine, then it will be easier for you to highlight a few of the things that you remember in the moment. Uh, if you didn't do the exercise and you didn't practice throughout the month, then you might need to remember a little bit more, but make sure that you stay connected into the gratitude feeling because that is really the motive that we are doing this journaling question. Now, once I finish reflecting back on the previous month, then I look at the next month. And of course, I want to set an intention for the next 30 days. So I decide and write it down on the fourth question, what is my intention for the next month? This is where you can write down any goals that you have, anything that you want to accomplish, anything that you are dealing with in your personal life or in your professional life. This is the moment when you actually think about what is ahead of you. Of course, you need to leave room for being flexible and for everything that might surprise you in your life. So make sure that you don't schedule everything that is super, super important in one month. We tend to overestimate what we can do in 30 days, but at the same time, we can underestimate it. And it's really important to just be very, very specific and be very realistic. 
Now, a bonus exercise that I love adding to my journaling ritual at the end of the month is to set a new word for my new month. I love setting a word that creates my inspiration and my guidance throughout the month and I love to just make it one word because it's super powerful and I can keep it somewhere where I can see it, I can write it on a post-it, I can write it on my desktop or I can put it on my smartphone. It doesn't really matter, it's important to keep it in your mind because it will guide you and without even knowing if it gets really really into your subconscious you will be thinking about it when you are making decisions when you are planning ahead when you are looking at your goals and the steps that you need to take the activities perhaps everything that you need to decide along the way throughout the month can be related and tied to this word that you choose it's important that we set this as the intention as one word because of course our intention can be really really awesome and we may have written paragraphs or pages on the previous question this is why we want to just summarize everything into one word so that we are really specific really focused and we stay motivated because when we have one word we know that language is super powerful and this one single word can mean the world to you and it can really make an impact to how you create your next month so this is it this is my journaling ritual at the end of the month and when i prepare for a new month i love looking at what i have learned what i have uh, celebrated and everything that i have accomplished in the previous month and of course i love to set intentions and goals and to set one word that really describes what i'm going for in the next month so if you love this exercise then please comment below and let me know if you're going to also practice it and if you are going to recommend it to another friend don't forget to hit the subscribe button and come back every Tuesday for new content. Sending you lots of love. Stay impressive.